Milkman family, we are back with another video for y'all. We are now on our way to Caledonia, Wisconsin. We just, uh, this morning, I picked up in, or yesterday, last, let's see what time, whatever, doesn't matter. Yesterday afternoon, I picked up in Zabrona, grabbed a load of ice cream, and went and delivered that to, uh, you know, thing. Or, oh, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And then I got there early. And then they got me out of there really quick. So that was nice. But I pick up to head back to the city, uh, yeah, Minnesota, the cities, whatever. Was at 1030 in um, Wisconsin Rapids. So I just y'all know if you're from the area, it wasn't very far away. So I got there early and my point was 10 30 there to get loaded and i was leaving there at like 20 after 10. so it's been a really nice day so far i'm on my way now to caledonia i got a second pick there and then i'm headed home to uh spend the rest of the day at the house when i do get back and then this will deliver tomorrow morning 6 a.m so it'll be nice there and then we'll probably find a load going back out i'm not sure what yet but we're on 173 here at Cranmore Town. Oh, Cranmore Town. But pretty beautiful ride out here. As you can tell, it is raining out pretty hard. It's been raining here all day long in Wisconsin. Maddie was saying that uh, it was all sunshine there this morning when it was raining uh, where I was there. So, it ain't bad though, I'm actually enjoying the run. The rain isn't uh, put me in a bad mood or anything. Everything's been going real nice today. So we only got about an hour and 49 minutes and then we will be to Caledonia. And then it's only, what, a couple hours back to the house. So, nice easy run today. The crazy thing is when it gets wet out like this is the uh, roads the blacktop almost turns the it's like ice it's crazy so when I was coming to a couple stops here in uh, Black River Falls the lights turn uh, red there pretty quick anyways I had to stop and my truck and trailer were sliding around a little bit so i had to just kind of tap on the brakes off and on just to slowly come to a stop there otherwise it, it's like turning your truck sideways on ice if you just hit the brakes and hold them so you ever come to that situation even on ice or whatever don't just sit there and hold your brakes you gotta just kind of push on them and release them until you get stopped otherwise you'll just jackknife your truck and trailer and it'll be a big mess it's really nice out here everything's so green finally it seemed like all everything's dead and then everything all of a sudden is just green well, this is a beautiful run i don't think i've ever run 173 through here but we're going to take this down to 90 i believe I, I don't think I've ever been to Caledonia, or maybe I have, I don't know. I don't remember because honestly, I thought Caledonia was over by Milwaukee. So I'm kind of wrong there. It's actually like right below La Crosse, I guess. But we got stuffed potatoes on right now. And then I, it's only like three pallets. We're all going to pick up like two more pallets. So another good fuel economy run, guys. Not complaining about that at all. I was sitting there talking with the guy I parked next to there. He was getting loaded there. He was there before me, but he runs, I think he said West Coast, I want to say. Um, and he had a nice, he had a 389 to stand up and whatever. And he was telling me all the stuff he wanted to do to it and telling me the stuff he already did to it. He put a he took the comments that was in there out after he ran it for a while and then put a cat in there and then got rid of that log book. So uh, 
he was saying he did all the work himself and he's got that thing turned like 810 horsepower to the wheels so that's pretty sweet it was a nice rig he's wondering about the 8 inch stacks because I got the 8 inch stacks on here how it is seeing behind the mirrors and I was just telling him the 8s you can still see but my brother had 10s on his Ryan he had 10, uh, 10 inch stacks on his truck there for a minute and it was just actually really hard to see past the stacks in the mirrors so I don't know I think 10s can look good but at the same time I think they look a little bit too big maybe I think 8 inch stacks are kind of the way to go in my opinion It is a beautiful run. So we're gonna hop up here. Looks like we gotta hop on 80, it looks like, and then jump back over to uh, 173 and keep heading her down. So we'll see you guys when we get a little bit closer and uh, keep enjoying the ride here. Well, if you guys ever drink the Ocean Spray cranberry juice, there's a big old warehouse for you there, right here in um, Babcock. Wisconsin. We're on 80 right now, heading over to 173. I was just thinking, I've actually been on this road before. Uh, there was a point in time I was actually going to live over here by Wisconsin Rapids. I forgot what the town was called now. But anyways, this was how we got back to 90 to head over. This was when I was hauling livestock. So I'd hop on this road and go over to 90 and then head back over to Worthington. Usually got a load of pigs out of there and then headed back down south over to, or down to Tennessee. So it's all familiar to me now, but it took a minute. Once I got up to 80 and I turned left, I recognized the little eating place right there. So we're gonna keep on hammering down guys haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button I do appreciate it a lot and uh we got a lot of requests for getting stickers so i'll be getting to those and uh, also like i mentioned in one of my earlier videos we are donating 50 percent of the uh, profit that I make from my store to uh, No Kid Hungry. So if you guys would, I really appreciate if you go hit that store up and get something out of there, whatever you want. I don't care what it is. And uh, not only you get something out of it, you're also going to be helping out kids that are a uh, little, you know, less fortunate and don't have people out there providing them with what they need to survive out here. So you guys want to do that hit up my store and go purchase something a sweater a t-shirt uh, a couple stickers whatever you want and that's gonna help those kids out big time so everything else is gonna just go literally straight to making this channel better for you guys and giving you guys a better experience here so thank you guys for doing that and thank you for hitting that subscribe button I will put in the comment or in the description so there's a little arrow if you're on your phone, tap down on that arrow, it'll show you the description on here, and it'll show you the links to my store, it'll show you the link uh, to the form to fill out if you want some free stickers. So if you're subscribed to my channel and you are a subscriber, go ahead and fill that form out and I'll send you some stickers. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, then go fill out that form and I'll send you some free stickers. Just my way of uh, showing some appreciation for you guys and everything you guys do for me, commenting on my videos and showing me uh, the love out here. So we're gonna keep on uh, trucking here. We were gonna hop on 173, but there's a bridge out, they're working on it. So we're actually just gonna take 80 and then 80 brings us all the way down and uh, I did not actually look to see what the road was, but it's another uh, highway or whatever that'll take us right over to where we need to go. So 
we're gonna keep on trucking here. Just wanted to get that in there. And uh, let me know what you guys are thinking, what you guys like about the channel, what you guys want to see more of. I know everybody wants to see more cattle hauling videos, but that's just not gonna happen. So I get a couple of those comments here and there. I don't know what what you guys expect. You gotta just go find a different channel. So I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. And I respect that you guys do like that content and that's what you guys want to see some of you but it's just not gonna work out so if you don't like it then you just have to go find a different channel or uh, get your CDL and go haul some cattle yourself so nice rainy day out here we're gonna keep on trucking Well, we are coming up on, I believe it's called Decina, Wisconsin here, on 80. And we are going to go up to 20, I believe. And then... It's like that'll bring us over to 90, right by 90 there. 21, it's 21 here out of Decina. As you can see, the rain hasn't let up any. It's supposed to be nice the rest of the weekend. Friday and Saturday, I know for sure. This uh, coming weekend here. My girl is going to her parents' place. And I'm going to go to my parents' place. And I'm going to put my new drop panels on the truck. So guys gotta stay tuned for that video be coming out I am super excited to see what those look like on here that will be something to see I've been wanting to have those on there since I got the truck and then uh, I ended up getting the bumper and then like that same week I ordered the drop panels so Those are gonna look awesome guys. They're eight inch drop panels, they're fiber tech. And I got them from uh, Big Rig Chrome Shop here out of Wisconsin. Oshkosh, I believe is where they are located. So a lot of you always ask why I got so many GPS's in here. Well, I got the one, I got my Garmin GPS that I use. That's my, I use that to tell my speed because my speedometer is about 10 miles an hour off. So I use the Garmin to tell my speed and also keep track of my miles. So I keep track of all my deadhead miles and then uh, because my fuel tanks aren't right, I keep track of my uh, miles until I get empty or until I be empty. So. That's what I use that for, and then also it keeps track of all my miles as far as state miles for my IFTA and stuff, so that's really nice. I like the Garmin for that, but other than that, I use my tablet with the Google Maps on it because it's the most up-to-date and doesn't bring me to all these like it's faster routing sometimes than the truck GPS. The truck GPS will take you on some long ways around. I don't know. But you gotta be really cautious. Looks like I got her own. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I just see her own too. I'm at the quick trip here. I watch your videos on YouTube. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, appreciate you watching. What, you ever comment down there? No, I never left a comment. I just sit there and watch your videos you got. Copy that. Hey, appreciate that. Where are you going today? Oh, I gotta go back to Loyal, Wisconsin here and get another load of rock. Copy that. Yeah, I'm headed over here to Caledonia and then back over to Minnesota. I'm actually making a video right now. Oh, it's 74. Have a safe ride. Wisconsin recognized me going down the road. So I know some of you guys 
these guys will ever get recognized. While there's proof I do get recognized. So it actually happens quite often. People come over the radio and recognize my truck and know it's the milkman. So if you ever see me out here, don't be afraid to come over the radio and uh, give me a shout out there. Most of the time, 90% of the time I have the radio on and the other 10% of the time I don't because I'm going through areas like Milwaukee and Chicago and those areas are just, it's so much pointless talk on there and it's usually somebody that's like I swear every time I go through those areas it's somebody that has a CB like in their house and they just sit there and talk on it it's really weird and I just can't stand that so I just turn my radio off it's, you get to you turn your squelch up so much it's like you can't hear anybody anyways so anyways I forgot what I was saying though I 
done that quite a few times, especially in Chicago, some of those places. Uh, you got to get into, you got to come in from a weird, a weird street or a certain way or whatever it might be.
check in here looks like there's no trucks so should be in and out of here hopefully all right well we went in and got checked in these guys are super awesome they were like waiting for me in there so and I'm early it's only one o'clock and my appointment for here wasn't until like 2 30 I think so I got in there signed in the guy was right there and uh, let me know what door to back into backed in and uh i'm pretty sure they already have me loaded and i literally just backed in i know there was only three pallets on here but still that's always really nice when they're just quick about it uh there's nobody here except for me really so that probably adds to the quickness but i always like when you come to these places and these people actually treat you like humans and not like just a truck driver you know <sighs> anyways we are gonna get this on, we're gonna head her back home, and then sounds like we're gonna to try to get there early tomorrow so we can get there before the trucks start lining up at where I'm dropping this at because it's kinda of like a first come, first serve, even if you do have an appointment. So we're gonna get there early, get it off, and then sounds like we got another load going to or from Fridley, Minnesota over to Marshall, Minnesota. So we will, uh, that's the girl calling right there. So we'll see you guys on the way there. All right, you guys, well, we are going through, uh, I think, I'm not sure where this is, but Highway 76 here in Minnesota. And uh, it is a 
beautiful drive down through here. Reminds me of uh, being down south, or like Tennessee. Yeah, hang on, I'm making a video. Making a video. Making video. Alright guys, well we made it to the end of the day here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment below, let me know what you thought. Hit that thumbs up on there. And uh, also, just wanted to say that I do appreciate each and every one of you guys that do watch my videos. I see everybody's comments on here. I try to reply to as many as I can. I got pretty bad at it there for a while, but I'm trying to get better at it again. It just gets to be so much. My mind gets overwhelmed and I have a hard time keeping up. But I do read every one of your comments. If you get a heart on it, that means I did see it and I did read it. So I do appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, make sure you share these videos. Family, friends, if you want to, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next video.